Hello and welcome to a video on multiplication. What we're going to look at first is your standard way of multiplying things. And you'll notice here I've divided it up with red lines into the various areas. TH for thousands. And a thousand is a one and one, two, three zeros after it. H for hundreds and a hundred is a one and two zeros. T for tens, which will be written there and U for units. OK, so that's our first stage. And you can see here we have the multiply. So it will be the top number multiplied by the bottom number. And we'll put our answer down here. And what we're going to do is go through a few simple multiplications. OK, now starting us off, we'll start with a very, very simple multiplication of two single digit numbers. So here we have the number 2. And we're going to times it seven times. Now, if you times 2 by 7, you get uh, a total of 14. So that is uh, the 4. And obviously, the 10 goes into the next column because it is 1 tenth. So we have 1 10 and 4 units. 2 times 7 is 14. Pretty simple, pretty standard. Everyone should be with me so far. OK, and so now we're going to look at a slight more complicated uh, equation. Oh, I don't fit how... OK, and now we're going to look at a slightly more complicated equation. We've got 426, and we're multiplying that by 32. And at first glance, that can seem pretty daunting. But what we do is we break it down into two sums. First, we're going to do 2 times 426, and then we're going to do 30, 3, 0, times 426. Uh, although I'm not going to bother putting that 0 over, because it's actually going to be 3 tens, because that's in the tens, times 426. I'll explain more of this as we go along. But first of all, we'll do the 426 times 2. OK. OK, so now we start our calculation. Now, 2 times 6 is 12. We could just spark a 12 in there. But actually, we haven't got to the tens yet. So what we want to do is we say 2 times 6 is 12. So that's 2. And we carry the 10 into the next column just to make 1 there. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. Add the 1. That makes 5. And then 2 times 4 is 8. Now, this is an 8. But it goes in the hundreds column, as you can see, because it's 2 times 4, 100. So it's 8, 100. And you can make this seem uh, better if you just put all noughts there. But again, we don't want to distract you. 2 times 4 is 8. As long as it stays in the right column, you've got the right numbers before, uh, you'll be all right. So 2 times 426 is 852. OK, and now we move on to the second uh, equation, which will be 3 tens times 426. 3 times 426. It's important to remember that they're tens. Now, before we go on, there was just one thing that I forgot, and that was to cross out this when we calculated it in earlier. Very important, otherwise you can get confused. Uh, anyway, now, as I mentioned, we're doing 3 tens times 426. And the fact that there's tens means there's no units here, because we've already done them. So to begin with, I'll put a zero in my units. Now, 3 times 6 is 18. So uh, that's 8 in the tens, and 1 that moves across into the hundreds column. And you see how these red lines make it quite obvious what we're doing here. OK, now 3 times 2 is 6. I've already got the 1 there. So that becomes 7. Whoops. 7. And again, this time, I'll cross that one out as I'm doing it so that we know that that's being used. OK? And then finally, 3 times 4 is 12. So in the next column, we have the 2. And obviously, we move the 1 into, that will be the tens of thousands. We didn't mention that earlier. To give you that total is 1, 2, 780. So 12,780. And um, that is 3 tens or 30 times 426. 
If you want to check that that's about right, you can just do maybe 30 times 400 and see what that is. And see if it comes out to be close to that number. If it does, then you know you're right. OK, and now we come to add those two up. Now, some people here like to put in another black line along the bottom to show that it's the next part of the calculate. Right, so we have simple addition. So, plus eight, to be surprised here, 2. And 5 plus 8 is 13. So that's the 3. And we'll put the 1 into our hunts. OK, now 8 plus 7 plus 1. Six, so we have our 6. And we carry the 1, so it's in the thousands. 2 and 1 is 3. And obviously 1 and 1, uh, sorry, 1 and nothing else is 1. Our grand total for 426 times 32 is 13632. And just to prove my point, although it might be a little more for you to see, uh, 426 times 32 equals 13632. Oh, that's what we got. And there you go. That is your basic standard way of multiplying one large number by another large number. Go through it slowly, carefully, step by stage, and you won't go wrong. Important thing to remember, when you add things you've carried over, to cross them out so you don't get confused later on, and to put in the zeros when you're doing multiplying something by tens, or two zeros by hundreds, three zeros by thousands, etc. Because it's not three times 126, it's three tens times 426, or 30. 426. And that ends that lesson on the basic standard method of multiplication.